this is part two of weird nature and well as we see calvi over there our cow dog isn't grazing sadly at the moment He's found a not really. He's found a not really, <laughs> which of course is very nutritious if you're a cow dog. He uh, seems to be trying to leave the reserve. The Where do you think you're going, Calvi? Calvi. No. Wait. Rare species of animal should leave the reserve. Calvi. Here. Calvi. All right, come Where on. Where do you think you're going? In. Bad dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bad cow dog. <laughs> cow dog. Cow dog. We're calling him a dugout. And, uh... Or a cow dog. We'll call him a cog. A cog. Either bring me back my missing cogs or fuck off. <laughs> right. And we'll call it an end to this episode of Weird Nature. His natural instincts, we will end the episode, but first, I think it's a good idea to test his reflexes quickly. He's been great. Oh, he's grazing. He's grazing. Calvi, leave it. He's now leave doing it. what he does most. Oi. Right. Leave it. He is a grazer this morning. He caught him in the act, eating his nutrition. Or food nutrition. As James likes to call it. Because James is very much into recycling and he does not waste he, even his waste. He likes to recycle it because it's got nutrition in it. Isn't that right? <laughs> uh, th and he likes to recycle Calvi's waste as well. Oh. You're right, James. Oh. Oh no. James is grazing. James, stop grazing. Wait, no, bad. Wait, no, no, do not graze. I will not rub your belly. Wait, Harvey, Harvey. Harvey, <laughs> cut. Stay, get up quick before he busts your lip again. <laughs> you know what I was doing that for? <laughs> to lead into the next parody. <laughs> I will cut it now. Wow, look at this dress. I must have it. But it costs 500 pounds, there's got to be a way. What a fun trip that was. I shall have to lie about how I got the dress. Lily Rose Barrett, why is there a 500 pound dress in your room? I saw it and I really wanted it, but simply could not afford it. So you stole it? No. Lily Rose Barrett. How dare you think it's appropriate to sit there and lie to me about how you got that dress? It is obvious that you stole it by the fact it still bears its price tag and you don't have a receipt. I left the shop before they could give me a receipt. That does it. I have had just about all I can take of this. Go to bed. Right now. You're sending me to bed? Are you serious? Yes. You have 20 seconds to get your naughty bottom up to bed before I carry you up. And put you to bed with an appy on. Me? A nappy? I don't think so. We'll just see about that. Come here, I've got a nappy right here ready to put on you so lie down. You want me to put that nappy on you? Lay down then. No. This nappy is for you. So lie down and we'll put it on you. But you need a nappy on, as you're about to shit yourself. Let's change your bum now. Knickers off, wipe, powder, nappy, that's the way to go. Take knickers off. 
Wipe you clean. Apply powder. Now it's time to put your nappy on, and then you're ready. Good girl, laying still while I put your nappy on, you need it. You are really naughty for putting me in this nappy when it was intended for you. Do we need to change your nappy already? You're supposed to be in nappies, not I. Mum, you're in nappies because you need them on. Now, lay down and we'll change your nappy. Nappies for you until you can learn not to shit yourself. You are not keeping me in nappies. Hi guys, Poseidon God of Water 20 and... I'm just ready to ask you. Mm -hmm. Well, we used to be. Oh, well now bye bye fan 57. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And today, we're going to be having a Q&A session. Mm -hmm. James is going to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them. So, first of all, is uh, what do you do in your spare time? Well, in my spare time, I like to play video games and watch films and listen to music and spend some time with my friends when I get the chance to, when they're not busy and that. Um, my other spare time, I like to take Bailey out for a walk, which is my dog, and he's actually alright once you get to know him. He's a bit hyperactive, but then again, he's young, and most dogs are like that anyway. So yeah, um, other than that, I don't really do much in my spare time. I sometimes go on the internet to see if they've got anything on there and that, and YouTube, and sometimes. So that's what I like to do in my spare time. Uh, most of the time, though, I'm out looking for work and jobs and that, like everyone else, so yeah. Okay, next question. What are some of your favourite films? Some of my favourite films? Mm, that's a tough one. There are so many good films that I like. And if I had to say some of my favourites, if I had to give like a top five list, it'd probably be Full Metal Jacket, Terminator 2, Gladiator, uh, what was the film called? Old, um, Old Boy, I think it was. And last film. Oh yeah, Alien 2. Aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, what stories have influenced your mem um your dreams in the past? Well, what does that mean? Exactly. I mean, what stories have influenced you? Like to. Uh, Inspired me in a way. Inspired, yeah, that's what, that's what I meant. I've seen some storylines in um, movies and computer games and that. But I'd say in terms of movies, Tony 2 story actually did inspire me in a way. I mean, everything in that movie was done correctly. The drama, the character relationships, the way the movie progresses, the character development, the way people change. Everything about that movie was actually well done in terms of storytelling. That actually got me more into storytelling because of that and making my own stories and stuff like that. And I do in my spare time as well. Um, in terms of computer games, um, some of the Metal Gear Solid games is confusing. Okay, I'll admit, sometimes the Metal Gear Solid storyline can be a bit confusing, but once you get the once you get the grips of it and understand it 100%, it actually is really really good because of the amount of effort and drama and emotion there is in there, and the way the characters interact with each other and all that. It's just really really good. Um, I think Uncharted had a good storyline as well, and that infamous I mean, in, uh, what was the one again? Influence. Influence me as well. Um, so yeah, um, there's quite a lot of films like that in games like that in a way that's actually good top-notch quality. Top not top <laughs> top-notch quality. Like um, though there are exceptions where I do not want to think. No, I don't want to be influenced by that story. Like High School Musical, or really bad movies that have like little to no story to them and have no depth in whatsoever. So yeah, there are a lot of films that actually do have a good influence. It depends what kind of film it is. Okay, what kind of stories do you write? Most stories I write, um, I do on my GameSpot account in my article section, most of the stories I write up is basically about um, fantasy stories and action adventure stories and traveling stories about one person traveling to this place and understanding the world and knowing more about a certain artifact and knowing more about a character or stuff like that. So those are the kind of stories that I write. Um, I think I wrote about three stories on my article. One which was about the uh, the Temple of Ruin, 
the um, the Forgotten City, and one other story I did was the World of the Unknown. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. So those are the stories that I've written so far. Um, there are some other stories that I would like to do in the future as well. This might sound like a bit of an odd question. Okay, go ahead. But, um, <laughs> which video game character does our friend Emma Noel remind you of? L from The Last of Us, which is coming out soon. <laughs> but I will say, that's a very tough one, because if I had to compare Emma to a video game character, like I said, L from The Last of Us, because she's short, she's got the same hair colour, the same, the same facial expression. If I can show you some clips some later on, she actually does look like Emma and uh, Noelle. So, yeah. If I had to say what other video game character she reminds me of, hmm, I think. Probably um, Barracks from uh, the Unknown game. It's called a the game called Unknown. It's basically about uh, a survival horror game and that. And one of the little girls reminds me of them own away. So there's that. But not that I know of really. No. Besides them two, not me. Really, I don't know any that name. Okay, fair enough. Mhm. Mm of course it is. <laughs> Any other questions you got? No. <laughs> Alright then, so I think we'll wrap this up then. Yep. Alright, thanks for watching. And you'll see us soon. <sighs> I'll take you this route today, I think, mate. Right there, mate. Oh my god. Is that a dead body, boy? Who's that? Who's that there? Is that a dead body? What's going on here? You okay there, mate? Hello? Oh my god. To check him for a pulse, maybe. What do you think, Harvey? Shall I check him for a pulse? No? No? Hello? Oi! Oi! Oh god! Are you alright there, mate? Uh, you're not a zombie, are you? Do you talk? Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little bit creeped out now. Are you a zombie? No. If you're a zombie, please don't eat me, eat my dog. He's very tasty. I feed him very high quality dog food. He's what, just had a meal. What, what's this guy on about? Where, where am I? What do you mean, where are you? That's what I mean, where am I? What happened? What's the last thing you remember? Last, time, last thing I remember was uh, I was hosting a nature show in a weird nature reserve. You getting this, Harvey? Yeah. And then I started developing the personality trait of a dog and started grazing. Do um, you graze, Harvey? Dogs don't graze. What are you on about? And then, um, wait, stop grazing. I was knocked unconscious. Okay. And then I woke up here. So yeah, where am I? Well, I don't know how to tell you this, mate, but you're in Winsfield, Chester. Okay, all right, so, surprise me. What year is it supposed to be? Well, <laughs> you don't, what was the year when you were apparently making this nature documentary? 2012. <laughs> Do you, do you hear this, Harvey? 2012. You have is this a prank TV show or something? Where's the camera? You have a laugh, mate. 2012. Look, can you please just tell me what year it is? <laughs> oh, bug off! Come on, Harvey. He's having a laugh, isn't he, mate? He's having a little walkies, mate. You loony! Okay. Stop following me. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Surprise me. Surprise what you? What year is this supposed to be? <laughs> Harvey, what's the year? No, but what, what's the date today? Oh shit, is it? Isn't that tax collection day? We've got to watch out for the tax, man. Fuck that. Uh, well, I don't know if you're having a laugh or if you're just mentally ill, but it's obviously the year 3257. Duh. You're right, mate. You look like you're having a stroke. Shit. Is he having a stroke? Shit, Harvey, what do we do? Hello? Are you okay? Excuse me, crazy man. Get him. Use your special dog saliva. <laughs> Use your special dog saliva to resurrect him. Oh my God, he's going insane. What's he doing? Do you need, do you need medical help? 32, 32 what? 57. 32, 57? Yeah. So, you're telling me I've traveled. 1,245 years. Into you getting this, Harvey? <laughs> you getting this? He's a fucking loony. That's not what I'm telling you, mate. What I'm telling you is that you need urgent medical assistance Look. for your brain. Oh, God. Either I'm just some wacko douche standing. In the Harvey 3250s concurs. right now, or I'm still lying in a in a nature reserve field in 2012. Well, I tell you one thing, mate. There's no such thing as a nature reserve. What's happened here? What do you mean? What's happened here? That's what I mean. What's happened here? Well, at the moment, I've been walking my dog, and I've come across some weird, crazy uh, hobo. Wait, if there's no civilization, how can there be a man and his dog here? There is civilization. We all live in trees, obviously. I can't see any other people around. What year do you think you're from again? I know, I'm from 2012. Okie doke. So that's back when the people used to live in those weird, uh, weird like brick boxes. Houses. Is that what you called them? That is How what they are. Houses. Look. This must still be 2012. You must be pranking me. No, I think you need some help, my friend. Let me take you to see the uh, local doctor, yeah? We'll get you in. Doctor who? Out. Exactly. Come on. I'll take you to see the... Harvey? Should we take him to see the local doctor, mate? Yeah? Who the fuck is this local fucking doctor? Doctor who? Okay. So, I suppose his assistant is Rose Tyler then? No, of course not. Who is she? Dr. Zikowski. Dr. what? Zikowski. Never heard of her. Of course you haven't, you're a loony. Right. Left. Clearly, I'm in a bad dream here. Just somebody wake me up. Okay, I'll try and wake you up, but I cannot make any guarantees. Are you ready? Now, this is an age-old med age medical trick. Ready? Put your hand down. Wake up! Wake up! Hey! Wake up! Hey! Hey! Wake up! Hey! Are you right? Okay. Are you awake now? Okay. So apparently it's the year 3257. And 